Hey guys and welcome back to the World War II Solitaire board game channel. Our last unboxing we took a look at Heroes of Normandy, Big Red 1 edition. Today we're gonna take a look at Heroes of Normandy, Big Red 1 edition solo mode expansion. So this expansion pack is gonna allow us to play Heroes of Normandy on our own. And as you know it, this is a Solitaire channel. So of course I had to get Heroes of Normandy once they released the solo expansion. And just like with, uh, with the main game we have the, for some reason the back not sticking to the box. Um, so I'll do like I did with my other one, I, I'll just fold this up and keep that in the box. With this solo mode, play or replay Heroes of Normandy scenarios versus an AI. Highly testing your tactical skill. Heroes of uh, <clears throat> Heroes of World War II solo mode, 45 minutes, one player, 14 and up. You left the family farm uh, to go to war, innocent and naive, dreaming of courageous action and other heroic fantasies. But the ri fights ripped apart the better of your youth, your hopes, forced marches, skirmishes and ambushes. The last one went wrong and you found yourself isolated from the rest of your company. Alone. The countryside around you pushes with pulses with danger. Every hedgerow, every ruined house seems to hide a threat. You tighten your grip on your rifle, your brother in arms and advance to what you think are the positions of your unit. So. And um, by the way, this is this solo expansion is not only um, Compatible with Heroes of Normandy Big Red 1 Edition, but also Heroes of Normandy or Heroes of Stalingrad So that's why it says uh, that it's an expansion for Heroes of World War 2 Because you can play it with uh, Heroes of Stalingrad as well Okay, so in here we have uh, Two big bags Smell kind of funky One with an R on it and one with a U on it we have two deck of cards. We have our solo rules. And then we have a bunch of counters. A lot of counters, I might add. And I think this is actually our board. So, all of these. We're gonna take, as usual, we'll just look quickly over the main components. And then once we've seen everything, I will show you everything in, in great detail. And here we have the board. AI dashboard. Alright, let's take a closer look. So there's not more much more to say about these bags. One is brown with an U on it, the other one is green with an R on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our board. Solo mode AI dashboard. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus for you guys. It does look a little bit um, complicated one uh, one side is uh, English I can see now and the other side is uh, what I assume to be French so let's take a look at our counters I'm guessing this is perhaps to use on that um AI board, quite large, um, these counters. Whoops.
yeah, like I said in my previous video, this is my first Heroes of Normandy title. And yeah, it's it's in French on one side and then English in the other. But now this is my first title, so I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. I think if I had more experience with the actual game, perhaps I would understand it better. But I don't understand at all <laughs> what we're actually looking at. Okay, this makes sense. Usually you have this kind of stuff with the solo games. Uh, question mark tokens which can be a number of numbers or a unit there's a, another one these are units apparently and then the last sheet of counters <laughs> more bacon we got lightsabers are you serious with this new hero, inspired by Griff in the movie The Big Red One by Sam Fuel, we couldn't miss the chance to create these totally geeky options. options. Lightsaber. This customization grants a character with the assault plus three special ability and allows assaults against heavy vehicles. This option can only be taken if both players include it in their army. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna use that because as you know I like um, Historical uh, historical games. I don't like. Um, not a fan of optional rules, which um, adds stuff that's not um, historical. But anyway, it's a cool option for uh, anyone who likes that kind of stuff. And we have two decks of cards, so uh, we'll open up both of them and take a look at each individual card. On the back we have um, the Bridge of uh, Me Megan, I want to say. I believe that's one of those famous bridges, um, famous from World War II fighting. Bridge of Me Megan, I think. I might be uh, totally wrong. It's highly possible. I am a person who is known to be wrong every now and then. We can see the bag there. The the brown bag we had. So you can see the can you see the cards? Yes, sir. Whoops, sorry. I just messed with the uh, exposure. Whoops. Apologies. Great art and design, just like um, the original game or the base game, the core game. Looks like they've taken um, actual period photos and put some kind of filter on them to make it look like it's a drawing or. So those are our cards. Then we have an even bigger deck of cards. Our A cards, those were our R cards. Let's see if we can get this to...
is like um, a really solid solo expansion. That's not all, I mean, just at from looking at it and looking at the components, my first impression is that it's um, a well developed solo mode because you know, I have played a lot of solo modes that felt very tacked on, like quickly developed, you know, just to be able to say, okay, this game also features solo. You know, you so you can also um, open up that market for solo players. And then when you start playing those solo modes or, you know, not something very uh, deeply developed, you feel that it's been uh, quickly, quickly been uh, developed. Just, you know, to be able to sell this game to solo players as well. But that is definitely not the idea I get from looking at these components anyway. Um, <clears throat> one, uh, one example is the um, Company of Heroes solo expansion. I do enjoy it because I really like Company of Heroes, the board game itself. It's a fantastic board game with fantastic miniatures, but the solo expansion um, felt quite disappointing to me. Very disappointing, I gotta be honest to say. So I'm really hoping that the second edition is gonna be um, a lot better. I backed it on Kickstarter, of course. And those are all of our cards. So we have looked pretty much at everything now besides the rules. We have this um, back thing. You might want to read it yourself. And then we have our rules. So let's take a look. If I can get my camera to focus properly. Okay, so you build up these um, decision tables. Look, they look really great. It looks, <laughs> looks really awesome. Um, yeah, I gotta say that really the first impression just from looking at it, which is of course limited, uh, but it does feel like this is uh, might be a really great solo expansion. I do prefer games that are actually, you know, built from ground up to be played solitaire. I definitely prefer those type of games. Um, but that being said, there are great solo expansions. Conflict of Heroes, <coughs> Awakening the Bear, Bear, not the Bear. Conflict of Heroes, Awakening the Bear, solo expansion is a great example of that. A multiplayer game which got a solo mode which is just um, from what I've heard because I haven't actually played it myself uh, excellent and here we have some assembly instructions and uh, my friends that is it that is Heroes of Normandy um, solo mode expansion actually it's um, it does say Heroes of Normandy here but uh, like I said, you can also use this to um, to play um, to play Heroes of Stalingrad, and I, I don't. You cannot play I, if I am correct. The, the 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 third one. It's something about uh, you know uh, undeads or whatever. Uh, Heroes of something. I can't remember the name of it. But you can play Heroes of Normandy and Heroes of Stalingrad. If you like this video, I uh, hope that you will uh, like it, comment and subscribe. If you want to uh, see more uh, unboxings of Heroes of Normandy system, I recommend you to uh, subscribe because there are more videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, to be able to play this game uh, in a not too distant future, even though I have a lot of games before this game in the queue. Uh, well, that's it guys. Thank you for joining me uh, for this unboxing video and I hope that you have a really great day. See you later.